we are here with Olivia Baker. Uh, she's coming off um, a huge run in the 800 meters here at the Trials of Miles in New York City. Um, Olivia, tell us how you're feeling just after your 800 meters day. Thank you. I'm feeling pretty good. I mean, that was tough. That was definitely sub to the hard way going out in 57. Uh, but I'm really grateful. I fought for every step. You know, didn't get the win tonight, but did get a solid sub two clocking. So I'm, I'm really proud of that. Nice. And of course, you had an amazing indoor season where you, of course, went to the World Indoor Championships. Um, what did that do for you in terms of motivation to come out here and actually, you know, run that sub two time? Uh, it gave me a lot of momentum. You know, I came really close to sub two indoors. I went two flat point three a couple of times indoors. So I knew it was there. I know I've been knocking on the corner, knocking on the door for really long. Uh, and to see it finally happen uh, is, is such a blessing. I'm, I'm really grateful to have been able to take advantage of this opportunity. Nice. And you're from, of course, New Jersey. You're from this area here, mm -hmm. uh, but you train in Atlanta. Um, what has that transition been like, you know, growing up here in New Jersey, but now training down south um, down in Chapel? Yeah, so I've, I've kind of been all over. Grew up in New Jersey, went to, to Stanford, and then I was training in Texas for three years before I moved to Atlanta. And uh, it's definitely been a change. You know, I came to Atlanta because I knew that I needed a l more strength. Uh, I have a lot of speed, but I, I wanted to get stronger. I wanted to get better at the 1500 and kind of start tapping into that strength that I hadn't really, that was kind of underdeveloped. Um, so that's what I came here to do. And my coaches have been really great about transitioning me, uh, teaching me how to use that strength, how to build that, that type of fitness. And um, I'm reaping the benefits of it on the track. So it's, it's been a great transition. I'm grateful to, to be running with teammates who are trained in the same event as me, to have coaches who really, truly believe in me, and, and to, be, to be running really well right now. It's, it's, it's been a lot of fun. Nice. And was, if you could say one thing that maybe you miss about Jersey, right? You said you've been all over, but is there something you miss about being in Jersey? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I miss, I kind of miss the weather. You know, I miss having four solid seasons, you know, intense winters and also intense summers. I haven't had, haven't had a lot of snowfall in a while, so um, I kind of miss that about New Jersey for sure. Nice. That's, that's probably one of the few things people usually wouldn't say about <laughs> the Northeast, right? Um, and then last question, a little bit different. Um, if you can compete in any event that's not your primary event, so let's say no 800, no 15, no mile. Yes. Um, but what would that event be? And it could be on the track, could be on the field, but what would that event be? Ooh, I got to. It would either be the 200 Ooh. or the pole vault. Ooh. Yeah, I feel like the pole vault is just such a fun event, so technical, but also just it seems like it would be a lot of fun. I've never done it, but I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, and the 200 because I just, I love to sprint. Um, yeah, I think that... I, I just find it to be such a fun event to just get out there and go all out, all the way, all the way to the finish line um, is just so freeing and so fun. Nice, so nice, right. yeah, the 200 or the pole vault. Sounds like you're prepping for a heptathlon, 800, 200 <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but <laughs> very yeah. cool. Olivia Baker, I really appreciate you speaking and congratulations, huge, huge uh, time today. Thank you. Thank you.